In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an awesome pie chart just like this one by using Microsoft Excel. I will show you how to add data labels that are percentages and even make one of the pie slices protrude out so that it stands out more. As always, if you find this tutorial useful, please give it a like to let me know. And if you get stuck, pop a comment down in the section below. And without further ado, let's jump into Excel. In my sheet, I have some example data for a group of 53 students and their results on a college test, which ranged from A being the highest score to E being the lowest score. Let's start by making a very simple pie chart. To do this, I will click and drag to select all of my data. Then I will go to insert and select the little pie chart icon. You can select to plot different types of pie charts, such as the classic 2D, 3D, or even a donut if you want to make something fancier. For this example, I will stick with a simple 2D type. Now we have our simple pie chart plotted. However, you will notice that there are no data labels added onto the chart, so let's add some. There are different ways that you can add data labels in Excel. The simplest way is to select the graph, and do you see the little plus icon in the top right hand corner of the graph? Select this, and then check the option for data labels. Alternatively, with the graph selected, you can also go to Add Chart Element, Data Labels, and then select an option from there. It's great that we now have our data values on our graph. However, this can be misleading when plotted on a pie chart if the values are not percentages. Usually, you would use pie charts to plot data proportions, in other words, percentages. Since these values just represent the number of pupils, it may be misinterpreted. So let's change this. I'll instead display the proportion of students that achieved each test score. To do this, with the graph selected, go to Add Chart Element, Data Labels, More Data Labels Options. And this should open up the Format Data Labels side menu. Under Label Options, I will check the option for Percentage and uncheck the option for Value. Now, each label is a percentage of the whole class, so I can easily see that 11% of the class achieved a grade A. Another thing that you may wish to do is to change the position of the labels on the graph. So a bit lower down in the Format Data Labels sidebar, you can find the options to change this. You can choose the labels to be in the center, inside end, outside end, or best fit. For this example, I will select inside end. Another thing that you may want to change on a pie chart is the angle of the first pie slice. To demonstrate this, I will click on the pie chart once, and now I can edit the series options in the sidebar. You can use the angle of first slice slider to essentially rotate the pie chart. In my case, the first slice is group A, and if I move the slider to the right, I can see the pie chart starts to rotate, so this can be useful if you want to move your groups around. I will reset this back to zero, as I am happy with the order it already is for this example. The other slider underneath lets you adjust the explosion appearance of the graph. To demonstrate this, I will move the slider a little to the right, and notice as I do this, the slices are appearing to break apart. Now remember at the start of the tutorial, I've shown you an example of this effect, but instead of the whole pie chart exploding, only one slice was exploding. Well, to demonstrate how I did this, I will first reset the slider to zero degrees. Then the next thing I need to do is to select the slice that I want to explode. For me, I will select the slice that represents those pupils that got an A grade. Now, with just that slice selected, I will increase the pie explosion slider gradually until I've found the setting I'm after. Around 15 degrees should be enough. So now that particular group stands out from the rest. Just before I wrap this tutorial up, you may also wonder how you change the color of the pie slices. Well, this is really easy. Simply select a slice and go to Format, Shape Fill, and then select a color you want. To change the appearance of the labels, simply select them, and you can then change the color of the text by using the Text Fill options. I will change mine to white so they stand out a bit better. Finally, I will rename my pie chart title to something a bit more meaningful. Class test scores should do. And that's the finished product. Now you know how to create a pie chart in Microsoft Excel. If you found this video useful, 
please leave a like. It really does help support the channel. If you've got a question, pop it down in the comments below. Also, consider subscribing for more weekly tutorials.